Before installation setup, please first prepare the 3D air body and all accessories in the package. Two lenses of the same model. Two cameras of the same model. One regular monitor. Assemble the lenses and cameras separately. Apply stickers to distinguish between the left and right cameras in advance. Install the lens inner rings for the left and right cameras. Tighten them securely. Place the lens bracket flat on the desk. Place the lens inner ring into the embedded slot of the lens bracket. Install 8 screws around to fix the lens inner ring and the lens bracket. Tighten all the screws. Repeat the same steps for the other camera. With the fixed lens bracket, tighten the lens again to ensure the lens inner ring is securely attached to the lens. Loosen the lens bracket fixing screws for the right camera. Rotate the lens and visually align it with the center of the lens bracket. Then lock all screws again. No adjustments are needed for the left camera for now. Install the left and right camera conduits separately. The left camera rod can be installed in any rod hole on the lens bracket. For the right camera, the rod must be installed below the left or right side of the lens. When installing the rod, please ensure it does not exceed the range of the lens bracket. Open the bottom wiring protection cover of the 3D Air. Connect the micro HDMI cables for the left camera, right camera, and 3D signal output one by one. Neatly insert the micro HDMI cables into the cable slot. Finally, reinstall the wiring protection cover. Install the right camera into the right camera slot on the 3D Air. The installation direction is facing the normal orientation. The top of the camera faces the top of the 3D Air. Tighten the nut to secure the right camera. Install the left camera into the left camera slot on the 3D Air. The installation direction is mirror image orientation. The top of the camera faces the right camera. Tighten the nut to secure the left camera. Install the monitor. Connect the composite signal output cable to the HDMI in of the monitor. Connect the RN signal cable to the right camera's HDMI port. Connect the LN signal cable to the left camera's HDMI port. Insert the battery into the 3D Air. Long press the settings button. Release the button when the power indicator light turns on. When the focus status and 3D effect indicators light up, the 3D Air is powered on. The 3D synthesizer will also start synchronously. Insert the camera battery. Power on the camera. Power on the monitor. At this point, the monitor displays the anaglyph format image. Install the controller onto any one quarter thread hole. Pull the outer casing upwards. Install the controller battery. Long press the controller button for 3 seconds to power on the controller. When the controller indicator light remains on, it means the controller is automatically connected to the 3D Air. Before calibration, stick the calibration card on a vertical and as flat as possible wall. Long press the settings button for 3 seconds until the optical axis moves, then release. This will calibrate the optical axis travel. After calibration, the controller can control the optical axis movement. The 3D Air should be horizontally aligned with the calibration card. Keep a distance of about 1.5 meters from the calibration card. Manually rotate the lens to focus on the calibration card. Rotate the controller to adjust the optical axis. Ensure that the left and right camera images overlap in the frame. Loosen all the screws fixing the left camera lens inner ring. Adjust the rotation of the left camera to align vertically with the right camera image. Use a wrench to adjust the left and right camera images to overlap vertically. 
After confirming that the left and right camera images are horizontally and vertically aligned, it is recommended to lock the screws into stages. The first stage, tighten until the screw lightly touches the lens inner ring. The second stage, fully tighten all screws diagonally. The position of the left camera rod can be changed as needed. Install the motor onto the rod. Before tightening the nut, ensure that the motor gear and the lens gear mesh completely. Install the motor battery. The motor will start automatically and connect to the 3D Air. Once connected, the power indicator on the 3D Air will change from a fast blinking light to a steady light with periodic blinking. The motor indicator lights will alternate between the current channel color and the remaining battery level color. They will then stay solid in the channel color with periodic blinking of the remaining battery level color. Confirm whether both motors are set to the same channel and speed. The motor has two channel colors, red and cyan. It is recommended to set both motors to the red channel. Press the corresponding motor button six times to switch the motor's channel. If the channel color stays solid and the current battery color blinks quickly three times, it means the motor is in fast speed mode. If the channel color stays solid and the current battery color blinks quickly twice, it means the motor is in medium speed mode. If the channel color stays solid and the current battery color blinks quickly once, it means the motor is in slow speed mode. Press the motor button 5 times to cycle through and change the motor's speed setting. It is recommended to set the speed of both motors to fast or medium speed. Once the channel color and blinking frequency match, the setup is complete. Long press the settings button for 3 seconds. This will automatically calibrate the optical axis and motor travel. After calibration, the optical axis and motor will move simultaneously when the controller is rotated. You can also long press the motor button alone to calibrate the motor travel independently. Since the optical axis was already calibrated during the alignment step, no further calibration is needed. Rotate the controller clockwise to the limit position and check whether the optical axis extends and if the maximum focus is at infinity. Rotate the controller counterclockwise to the limit position and check whether the optical axis retracts to the minimum and whether the focus is at the closest focusing position. If the rotation direction of the motor is reversed, press the motor button 7 times to switch the motor's rotation direction so both motors turn in the same direction. The 3D Air can save up to 5 sets of lens autofocus data. These are saved within the 5 colors of the autofocus status indicator. If the focus status indicator blinks once in a cycle, it means that no autofocus data has been set for that color channel. Short press the settings button twice to cycle through the 5 color channels. If the indicator stays solid, it means the data is already saved. Press the 3D Synthesis button once to switch the 3D video signal format. Please switch to Crop Format. Then open the lens aperture to the maximum. Short press the Settings button once and then immediately long press for 3 seconds. This will enter the autofocus calibration mode. At this point, the focus status indicator will blink quickly twice in a cycle. Rotate the controller counterclockwise to move the lens focus to the minimum focus position. Move the 3D air closer to the calibration card until the focus of the left and right camera on the calibration card becomes clear. Press the settings button once. Wait for the beep to sound. This indicates that the first point calibration is complete. Note, the focus status indicator will blink quickly during the calibration process until the beep sounds, after which it will blink quickly three times in a cycle. Move the 3D AR approximately 0.5 meters from the first calibration point. Rotate the controller to focus the calibration card in the left and right camera images. Press the settings button once. Wait for the beep to sound. This indicates that the second point calibration is complete. At this point, 
The focus status indicator will blink quickly for times in a cycle. Move the 3D AR approximately 1.5 meters from the second calibration point. Rotate the controller to focus the calibration card in the left and right camera images. Press the settings button one last time. Wait for the beep to sound. This indicates that the autofocus setup is complete. At this point, the focus status indicator will stay solid. Rotate the controller counterclockwise to the limit position. Wait for 1.5 seconds, then check whether the 3D AR enters full automatic control mode. If the 3D AR fails to enter automatic control mode, check if the 3D effect indicator is solid. If the indicator is not solid, press the settings button for times to switch to automatic control mode. Once all installation and setup are complete, you can begin 3D or spatial video shooting and creation.